welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on preventing cybersecurity threats. There are a number of measures listed in the specification that you need to be aware of that can be used to detect and prevent cybersecurity threats. These include biometrics, password systems, capture, email confirmations, and automatic updates. We're going to take a look at each of these in more detail now. Biometrics refers to the use of biometric data for security purposes. This is things like fingerprints, voice prints, retina scans, and facial recognition. These technologies are commonly used to secure mobile phones. These methods work in a similar way. So let's look at fingerprints for an example. A fingerprint scanner uses a stored version of your fingerprint and compares that to your new scan of your fingerprint each time you try and access the phone. If they match, you'll be allowed to access. Biometric data is very difficult to fake, so it makes a very effective security measure. Password systems, where users have a username and a password, allow sensitive information to be stored on systems and only be accessible to people that have the correct username and password. A set of rules should be developed and enforced to avoid users setting weak passwords. If users were to set weak passwords, the security of the system would be at risk. Capture is short for completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. And its purpose is exactly that. These are a key tool in the fight against DDoS attacks. A DDoS attack is when a hacker has written a program that will repeatedly request the same website so many times that that website will eventually crash. If a website is being overwhelmed with requests, then users that are trying to request it can be presented with one of these captures. That might involve distorted text that the computer has trouble identifying, or like in the example here, selecting all the images that contain bridges, or perhaps some other object. The thing these tasks have in common is that they're currently still very difficult for a computer to do on its own. You may have already noticed when signing up to an online service that they will generally send you an email to confirm your identity. The idea of this is that it prevents people signing up someone else's email address for a service that they didn't want. It also serves a secondary purpose of ensuring that you didn't accidentally enter the wrong email. This is important because your email is likely to be the way you will recover your account if you forgot or lost your password. Automatic updates keep your operating system and antivirus software up to date so you are secure against the latest threats. This is very important because there's new viruses coming out every day and when there's an exploit in an operating system, hackers will put in a lot of effort to try and exploit it before the hole gets closed. That brings us to the end of this video on preventing cybersecurity threats. Join me again soon when I'll be taking a look at relational databases. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.